everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When last we left off, we were just starting the ultimate book. The last book in the Shadows of Angmar, the original volume of the Lord of the Rings Online story here. Chapter 1, A Strange Fate. We need to go talk to Glorfindel. Glorfindel, of course, just outside of the last homely house. Off to the left, standing over near the river and the waterfall. And Elrond wants to get his advice on what we are going to do about a Marthiel slash... Um, oh, her name was right on the tip of my tongue. Starts with an L. What is her name? A Marthiel and... Uh, <sighs> can't remember her name. I hate it when that happens. See, they don't even call her by her name anymore. Hmm. Well then, we'll just call her Marthiel, won't we? Let us go on outside. I've got to still repair my armor and everything from that last battle we were in. Good lord was that. A hell of a battle and a hell of a long instance. Did not realize that that whole episode went on for almost an hour and a half altogether with the three parts. Quite intense and quite involved in there. Okay, come out of the homely house, cross the little bridge here, and then travel on up. Let's turn our light on. Travel on up this way. Glorfindel should be right up here at the end of this little spit of land. There he is. You'll see our hope jump up here in a second. There you go. Cause he cast... Where's our hope at? Um, is this the one? Toggle the wallet. Open world. We've got a hope thing over here, don't we? There we go. Ten hope. He's kicking out ten hope that, uh, if you remember Narquil, whenever we were fighting our Marthiel, um, she was kicking out nine dread, so we could really have used him along. Shows the power of a first age elf there. What can I do for you? The matter of a Marthiel is grave indeed. It is strange fate that a Marthiel, or Narmaleth as she now wishes to be called, is again in prison where she was once held for so long. She must be questioned, and though Master Elrond has bidden me to address this matter at once, I still have many other duties to which to attend. I would ask you to go and speak with her. Perhaps you may glean some information of use from a Marthiel. Narlo, beware her words. This might again be some trickery on her part though my heart counsels me that she speaks true. So it's back to Delisad to f talk to Narmaleth. That was the name I was looking for. To go talk to Narmaleth, as she wishes to be called now, her original elven name. And let us see if there is some hope to redeem her where Laerdan, her father, had failed. We're going to head back to Delisad. And we will see you when we arrive back at the doors of Normales Prison here. So, see you again in just a minute. We have just passed the ruins of the crumbling cellar. Heading back over here toward Delosad. We grabbed a, uh, grabbed a swift travel over at the stables of Elrond and rode up to Candeleth there and then just came right on down the hill and arrived here at Delisad. So we're going to ride within, ride up to the gates and allow ourselves to go in again. I did not realize, had not remembered that we would be coming back in there to talk to her. I guess I should have realized that whenever the fact that we could travel further back into uh, the ruins here to see her that we might have realized that yeah we were probably going to have to talk to her again 
I remember it now, you know, I can remember going and talking to her and getting information. Don't remember any particulars about it whatsoever. But I do remember having to come back in here and talk to her again. But I have no idea what it is she's going to say. I have no idea whether or not um, the stuff she talks about is going to be the truth. Whether she truly is Normaleth once more. But we will see. And there she is. With her poor left hand, or left arm, all wrapped up where Mordrum Boar chopped it off. Let us talk to her and see what she has to say. I am surprised, Narlo. I had not thought that you would be the one who would choose to come and listen to a broken elf maiden's tale. Alright. Chapter 2. A Threat to the Dunedain. Though few believe it, I have been freed from the evil that once ensnared me. It was the lifting of a veil and a release from chains that held me for so long. I am no longer consumed by the ring Narquil, nor the desire for it. I have dire news, a warning for those who would listen. As a Marthiel, I have heard whispers of a hidden city of the Dunedain, Esteldon. I had sent out a master spy to divine its location, and by now they must surely have located it. The rangers must be warned of this threat. If the spy is able to infiltrate Esteldon, they will move a large force against it in secret. Travel to the North Downs and warn the leader of this camp against this treachery that I have sown. So we're going to Halbarad at Esteldon. And this is what I was used to whenever I talk about how this was going to a region was an old school, old school type thing. You will automatically travel to Esteldon when you accept this quest. So let us accept it. And we will take the free travel. We all know where Esteldon is. That is the, the outpost, the hidden outpost of the elves. The elves, the rangers there in the middle of the North Downs. We'll go ahead and pull it up on the map, show you where it is. There, as you see there, right above Kingsfell. Okay, so we are now going to look and see if we can find Halbarod. I would imagine that he would be kind of toward the middle of the ruins here. Somewhere up toward the library or in that general area. So let's take a look and see. Halbarod. Halbarod, where are you at? Let's look for rings on our minimap. Okay, I see one right there at the door. Maybe he is within the doorway there. Nope, looks like we can't get in the door there, so that's not him. You're not Halbarod, are you? Nope, you're a ranger. Hmm. There's a ring there, however, right on that door, like we should be able to go within it. Okay. Well, we are going to search around until we can find Halbarod. And when we have located him, we will be rejoining you here. There we go. He's over here in the council chamber. Very good. You remember the council chamber here with Gildor, Dory. Oh, and what was your name? You were from Trestlebridge. Nellie Boskins from Trestlebridge. Remember we had to go and we had to do missions for the elves down there against the trolls in order to get them to come to the Free People's Council. We had to actually go and rescue Dory from the Dower Hands. And we had to go and help Nelly with the orc invasions that were coming across the Trestle Bridge. So they all came over here to the Free People's Council. Let's talk to Halbarad and let's see what he has to say. Greetings. What brings you to Esteldon this day, Narlo? Might I take a moment of your time? Chapter 3, Proof's Burden. A spy? Among us here in Esteldon? It seems unlikely that a spy would be able to penetrate our ranks, and even less likely given the source of this information. 
If you insist on pursuing this matter, go and speak with the refugees that were recently rescued from Angmar. Doubtless you will find that they are simple herdsmen and farmers. Speak with the refugees outside of the library, near the craft hall, watching my kinsmen train, and by the stable master. Though I see little wisdom in trusting the words of the enemy, Narlo. So we got four groups of refugees that we need to talk to. Lord Almighty, you know, a large part of this all started whenever the people over in Archit distrusted you rangers. And now that you rangers are distrusting people, I'm not seeing a good end to this. I'm not seeing a good end to this at all. Back outside, shall we? All right, speak to the refugees. We've got some right outside here. Here's one named Eon. You will perish. Well, f, f you too, pal. I have seen nothing strange since I left Angmar, burglar. Oh, but you're a rude SOB, aren't you? Okay, so we've got the one there. We've got the one watching people train. One outside the library. This should be the library up here now. Up in this area. Um... Where do you find a refugee? Not seeing any so far. Well, let's go down here. Now let's talk to the one watching the training going on. So your name is Rona. <laughs> You risk your life to come here. I would not even know how to recognize what you seek, burglar. I am but a simple farmer. Why do all y'all keep threatening us then? Okay, there's one over by the stable master, he said. That should be back here in the first section. And then we will have to see if we can find the other one he spoke of near the library. I wonder if he means the crafting hall, perhaps. Or maybe this one that was right outside was the one that he was thinking was near the library. Who knows? Alice is missing. Okay. That doesn't help us. We didn't even know her name. Where's the fourth one at? outside the library near the craft hall so we need to go to near the craft hall so apparently that was the library that up there on top of the hill must be his study that must be the difference between the two i just knew there were a lot of books inside that one as well so now let's run over to the craft hall we've already seen that one of them is missing so that in itself is quite suspicious. Especially when you're talking about someone who's missing inside of what is supposed to be a hidden secret camp. It's like, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Okay, there is... Nerni. What are you going to threaten me with? The Trave Galorg are surrounded by enemies. Hi, you sound a lot friendlier. A spy? Friend, I have seen many things, but no spy. Alright, back to talk to Halbarad again. Let him know one of his refugees has gone missing, and no one can seem to find them. Hello, nurse. Okay. Once more. The Stelden Library, December 8th. Okay. I guess the date changes as you uh, progress through the story here. What can I do for you? One of the refugees is missing. Might I take a moment of your time? 
Chapter 4, Esteldon's Fate Those whom we take under our protection here in Esteldon are not allowed to depart without my leave under penalty of death. That is the law, and it has protected us and kept us hidden from our enemies. It is likely that this refugee is only returning to her homestead and that she is no spy, but she must still be brought to judgment for breaking the laws of Esteldon. Search the easternmost pass into Angmar and bring back the refugee, be she spy or otherwise. Alright, so we have to go and find the missing refugee now. The easternmost pass leading toward Angmar. So let's mount up. It's almost daylight, so we will ride our burglar steed. Nice and swift and will help hide us from prying eyes out in the wilderness here. So we will see you in a bit. We are going to ride over here to the easternmost pass that he's at. Let's stop for a second. Yep. Leave here, come down, and then ride to the easternmost pass to Angmar, which would be here? Thinking which one is he talking about? Hmm. Search for signs the easternmost pass between the North Downs and Angmar. That would be the easternmost, but that is the one that is loaded with Angmarum over there. I really wonder, could that be the one he's talking about? I mean, it is full of Angmarum. Right there, that one right there with the big Angmar gate showing up on it. Which I'm impressed by because normally you don't see that gate until you get a lot closer to it. like the draw distance has been expanded somewhat. I swear we never saw that gate until we were about halfway across the field here. At least we've got a clear indication of where we are heading. Now, let's see if she might be out on the road here. We'll see if we can hit it and then follow it kind of northward here. Whoa, deep pond. Sorry, horsey. And we'll keep looking for little uh, circles, little rings on our mini map here as we go north of it as well. I wonder if she could be up here in these camps, because they were refugees. But up here in these camps are the little uh, Angmarum out outposts and all, these Angmarum villages. She might be up there within one. Where, oh where has my refugee gone? Oh where, oh where could she be? And it's turning daylight. I knew it wasn't too far off. You had the creepy music start and start hearing the more normal sounds of winds through the <clears throat> the winds through the trees again. Start hearing birds chirp and not the crickets. Okay, let's keep looking around. Find her name. What was it? Alice, I think. Alice. A L L I S. We're gonna say Alice. And where might she be? I'd like to find her at some point. Before we take a whole bunch of dread from all these evil icons, there she is. That's her right there. Alice. Get ahead and see who you are that has caused us so much trouble here. <laughs> you come at a perilous time. Lay down your weapons and walk away, burglar. I will not be stopped. Oh, well. And 
not going to stop you. I'm just going to kill you, apparently. Not even asking. Oh, yeah. Summoner or lurker. There we go. Sorry, you summon in spiders. You're not an innocent refugee. That's for sure. Hate fighting in the middle of these dread spaces, but... Lord knows we've done enough of that lately, haven't we? There we go. The refugee spy has gone down. Now if we can take out her lurker. The lurker is gone too. Alright. It's time to travel back to Halberd. And we will mount up. And we will meet you over there. So see you shortly. We have taken out the spy. We are riding back into Esteldon. Let us return to the library here. Give Halberd the bad news. That yes, indeed, there was certainly a spy here in the middle of Esteldon. And hopefully, hopefully, we got her before she was able to reveal the location here of anybody important. To anyone important. Halberd, Chapter 4. How can I be of service? Alice was a spy. I am sorry for mistrusting your counsel, though doubtless even the wise would not seek aid of this nature coming unlooked for from such an ally. All right, Halberd's trust or protector of Estelden. Ooh, a 51 level sword. That ain't... Too terribly bad. 38. The other two are, hmm, might be better than Ein's Doom. It's got more DPS. Parry, 106 morale, 204 parry. Hmm. That's interesting. What's Halberd's trust? Hmm, not anywhere near as good as Elrond's gift, so we'll go with the Protector of Esteldon. Might trade that Could out I'll for speak a with you a moment. Chapter 5, The Ring of Truth. Boy, we are tearing through Book 15, aren't we? Esteldon remains hidden, and though I'm glad that disaster was averted, I still do not wholly trust the counsel of Amarthiel, no Normaleth, who for so long brought strife and war upon us. She may still have a great store of information to offer our cause, so you may return to Delisad with my thanks. But be wary. I am not wholly convinced that she can be trusted in all manners, and that this is not some grand scheme of the enemy. So we go back to Narmaleth again. I think she will understand why people don't trust her. I would be very uh, surprised if she thought everybody was just going to buy her stories at first glance here. She has fought a long and hard battle. Now, y'all remember Mordereth, who turned back up. If you notice, he called uh, Laerdan. I was going to bring that up last time and the uh, whole phone call. Um, called him Eanor. And Eanor was the last king of Gondor. He was the one that traveled north from Gondor and fought at the fields of Fornost and accepted a challenge. Accepted a challenge from the Wit King to meet him in single combat went into the Witch King's fortress and was never heard from again. Foolish, foolish man. But that's whenever the reign of the stewards began. And so, yes, that's what's happened to Eanor. Now, that is something that's been totally invented, of course, by the, uh, by the turbine staff here. They invented that the, the fate of Eanor was to become a lesser wraith underneath the power of the Witch King. But I think it's a great, great invention they made. Truly is a, 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 a good um, twist to the story there and a, a most sad ending for one of the great kings. That his hubris would be his undoing. And that, that he would end up in such a foul manner. Much like Normaleth did here for a while. Let's talk to her again. I am glad that at least one of my wicked deeds has been amended. There are so many others whose weight I must bear for the rest of my days, however few those might be. 
Chapter 6, Daughter of Strife I am glad that you have returned, Narlo. I am not always as you have known me, for though I was doomed to failure, my heart's intentions were ever true. Alas, that shadows will corrupt even the noblest of goals. I have much to tell if you will hear me. Alright, so we got here, Normaleth's Tale, and do not fail the Daughter of Strife mission. We are going to decline that for now. I don't have the opportunity at the moment to get sucked into another instance. And our time is about running out here. So next time we get together, we are going to do the Daughter of Strife uh, instance and listen to Normaleth's sad tale about how she became a Marthiel. And we will see you then. In the meantime, we will sit here and keep the poor wretch company. It's the least we can do. Whether she's telling the truth or whatever else, she has at least um, earned the right to have a little company here in this really disgusting, sad prison. Why these elves brought her back here, I have no idea. But we will see to you next time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.